Hey guys, I'm Bond and welcome to Performance Cars. So this week, as promised, I did say to you guys I will show you a more recent purchase that I've made. This car wasn't as special as the EK9 in terms of how I purchased it. So that one I had to import the car, I needed an importer, I gave him my specs and I had to wait a good couple of weeks for that to come over. Whereas this car, I sort of, well, a friend came across it. He gave me the details of the car and literally told me to go see it. So I did just that. I went to go see the car. It was in pretty good condition. The price was very good as well. So I thought, you know what? I'll just take the plunge and purchase the car. So here I am. This is the Civic Type R EP3, but it's the JDM model. So when I say JDM, what does that actually mean? Well, JDM means Japanese domestic market. So this car was actually produced in the UK, but sold over in Japan. So it was made in Swindon. They shipped the car over to Japan and then someone decided to ship the car back to the UK. So it's kind of ended up in its home birthplace. But after purchasing the EP3, I now have the very first Civic Type R ever made. So that's the Civic Type R EK9 from last week's video. I have the very first Civic Type R sold in the UK. So that's this one, the EP3. And I also have the very first Civic Type R as a four door saloon. So that's the FD2 and that was only sold in Japan. So being the JDM model, there are slight differences between this and the UK one. I will take you guys on a walk around a bit later and I will point out the most obvious differences between the two. The JDM EP3. Of course, you guys can tell straight away it is in championship white, only available on the JDM models. And I am of course comparing this EP3 with the standard UK EP3. So I'm not talking about the 30th anniversary model or the premier edition. So of course, first of all, we have the Momo leather steering wheel. That's embossed at the bottom right there a pair of red Recaro seats at the front, which are pretty good actually. These are very similar to Evos and I think they're called trend lines, something similar to that. The Speedo, it reads in kilometers all the way up to 190. Auto climate control. And we also get the red mats as well. So Type R embossed down there. And guys, you lot with the UK EP3s, can you let me know about your rear headrest? Because I'm pretty sure you guys have them, but the JDM model doesn't. So you guys can let me know in the comments below regarding that. And this also has foldable mirrors. So that's the button right there. I think in the UK ones you get heated mirrors, but these ones fold in instead. The headlights as well, these come with HIDs as standards. So there's a ballast underneath the headlight itself. Um, head cover has been resprayed white and I must mention this to you guys that idle air control valve that sits down there the assist I should say that broke as soon as I changed the air induction kit for the standard air box so that snapped and I had to change it so I had to purchase one of those um, idle air assist delete kits I'll put a link in the description below for you guys if you ever come across the same problem and as I was changing this air box as well, I came across one of this air scoops. So that was from my previous JDM model and I just attached it to this and it gives it a nice air scoop. So that's pretty cool. Apart from that, there's an LSD in the gearbox and shorter gear ratios. But otherwise, this looks pretty much similar. Of course, we have the aircon system as well. Um, if you guys don't have aircon in your EP3s, then that's what it looks like. I think the intake manifold as well. Oh, that is very hot. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that hot. That is super hot. Um, as I was saying, the intake manifold is different as well um, to the UK cars. So it has slightly larger runners or whatever. I, I don't know the exact specifications, but that is it. That is the JDM EP3. Oh, one more thing, guys. Have a look at the wind deflector on the passenger side. Of course, there's one there. Come over to the driver's side there's one missing. So what actually happened was when I was driving down the road, um, it actually fell off. So it's really scratched up at the moment. You guys can still see the sticky pad foam that's sitting there. So that needs to be removed. That needs to be replaced. And 
of course, I will get that done pretty soon. There is also one more thing that needs to be done. It's the rear number plate holder. So at the moment, um, it's being held by two screws on the side. So if I get the JDM number plate holder, which is square, then it's going to leave two holes right there. So that needs to be filled and then painted. And of course, we have a Union Jack on the rear as well. So that came standard on the JDM EP3 models. Just to say that it was built in the UK. Now, I'm not too sure if you guys noticed, but at the beginning of this video, when I was accelerating, there was a strange metallic sound towards the top end of the rev range. Now, I'll show you guys that again. It's just that strange metallic sound. I'm not too sure what it is. It sounds like it's a loose heat shield, but that definitely needs to be investigated but the exhaust on this car is actually standard. I had a look underneath and I don't see any B pipes or D cats or anything like that, but it actually sounds a lot louder than a normal EP3. Let's listen to that. So I have no idea what has been done to this car, but it, I don't know. I, I've lost for words. Okay, so here's an important question. What are the future plans for this car? Now normally I don't really modify my cars, like the EK9, that was purchased literally as a collector's car. Uh, whereas this one, this is just so much fun, seriously guys. Um, the FD2 of course is amazing, but that, that car is just so expensive, I can't bear to modify it. The EK9 is a classic, I wanted to keep that standard like I said last week, but this one, oh, we love this Civic Type R in the UK. Everyone loves it. The journalists, every review about this car has been positive. So I think there's only one thing to do. I think I am going to change this into a facelift JDM model. So it has different bumpers, rear lights, front lights. Uh, the interior is slightly different, but I think that will make this car look really nice. And then from there, maybe we can look on the suspension, maybe even the brakes and stuff like that. But I don't want to go too crazy. I would like to track this car as well once we fix that metallic sound because I don't think I can bear with that noise um, on track. It would just be too much. It will, it will do my head in. I think that something's wrong with the car and the engine might blow. Now, before we finish on this video, I do want to say to you guys that I would love to find out the differences in speed of acceleration between the EK9, EP3 and FD2. Yes, I know there's another Civic Type R, the FN2, that sits in between the EP3 and FD2, but unfortunately, I myself don't have one. I don't plan on buying one anytime soon, so I won't be able to compare the differences between these models and that one. So guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification for future videos. Next week, I will be showing you something super special. It's been hiding away for over two years, I think. I've been dropping hints on Instagram and some previous YouTube videos, but I think the only thing to do is literally show you guys next week. So I don't want to give too much away, and I will see you guys next week.